Hey guys, Nature Guy X46 here, and today we are talking about dental formulas. So when we do a dental formula, we are looking at the teeth, and we are going to be looking at all of the teeth on one side of the skull only. This also includes on the lower jaw. You're only looking at one side, and you're going to count all of the teeth, the incisors, the canines, the premolars, and the molars. Sometimes you may get an error, and we're going to look at one where there is a problem in the jaw, and we'll talk about it a little bit as we do it. But the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take a look at the skull that is right in front of me. I already know what it is. It happens to be a white-tailed deer skull, and we're going to count. So, interesting fact, um... White-tailed deer, and probably all deer, do not have incisors or canines in the upper jaw, which leaves only the premolars and the molars. So we're going to count. One, two, three, so those are the premolars, okay? So now I'm going to count the molars. One two, three. Okay, so I know I can go now to my book and I already have the selected. But just to show you, I know also, um, based on looking at it, that this is a, um, a herbivore. Okay. Even though these teeth look a little bit pointed, Okay, that, that's a cane. That's a herbivore. And since I already know what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the genus that is for the white-tailed deer. And I can see right away that it has zero canines, or zero incisors, zero canines. It has three premolars and three um, molars. Now, that's different from up here and it could be this the copra but I already know that this is what we're looking at okay if you were trying to figure out what you were looking at this book will help you with that by the way this is the key to the skulls of North American mammals um, you can go through you can look at the pictures and that will help you figure out what you're looking at. Um, there are There's also an illustrated key to the skulls of North American mammals. And also your mammals, your mammals handbook or guidebook for Peterson's also has dental formulas and pictures of skulls in it. So you can, you can use that to help figure out what something is. It's also important to realize that um, your molars and your premolars have two, two roots. I believe it's two roots. Um, could be, yeah, I think it's two. Whereas some of the others, some of the other teeth only have one. So we know that this is a white-tailed deer, and we know, again, that it has three premolars and three um, molars. So now let's do another skull. And again, we're only going to be working on one side of the skull. This is sort of a mystery one, um, but I'm going to tell you what it is. This is a dog, a domestic dog. And Domestic dogs, or dogs in general, anything that is in the Canis family, or the Canis genus, which is a pretty good-sized group. Um, this is the group that wolves are in, coyotes are in this group, okay? So lots, lots of different animals. We're going to turn it a little bit like that. No, we're not. We're just going to leave it. So... 
its upper jaw is the dental formula is three one four two so three incisors incisors are only going to have one root so one two three okay so those are our incisors it has one canine and then it has four premolars but this dog has an extra premolar okay so we have one two three four so one of these is an extra so this is not this tooth right here is a not a molar it's a premolar one two molars so let's look at that from a side view we have our incisor so we have three incisors your canine your premolars one two three four normally there would only be four but this one has five and then our canines are not canines sorry our molars there's one two okay so that tells me i can go back and i'll show you there's a lot of other animals that have that same exact um dental formula so this is done by All of a sudden, it's like really not showing up. Okay, you'll you'll have to trust me that there's within this this order. There are several animals who have the same exact um, dental formula. So if that's the case, the next thing I would do is I would want to know what those other animals are. Because that's going to help me figure out what I'm looking at. So, let's see. You can see that foxes... Oops. Foxes have the same... Potentially could have the same um, bears, raccoons, okay? But we know that this is a dog. And we know that it's a domestic dog. So always, if, if you're unsure, you have the pictures of the skulls that you can look at. Um, that's going to help you figure out what it is. So there are clues out there that you can use to identify it anyway this is just a little how-to um you're not going you can get dental formulas off the web you can get dental formulas um out of different books like i did it is another tool that scientists use to figure out what something is so anyway if you like this video if you learned something from this video give me a like um, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out. Um, subscribe. Click that notification bell. And see you next week. Bye.